good morning welcome to a vlog so in this video i am going to attempt <laughs> i'm going to have to sort out my wires so i rejigged my office on the weekend i was sat and i've basically not been able to work in my office for a while because it's just mentally not really motivated me to do any work I've been walking in here and feeling really overwhelmed, it felt cluttered, it felt like just too much and I think what it is is that I'm growing out of it, like obviously as my businesses expand, as in like Soul and Fire and Alice Thorpe, I'll need more space and it just wasn't working how it was. So we've rejigged it, I'll insert some footage of what my office looked like before so I actually turned my desk around so it was like in the middle of the room which meant that I could film my Adobe Illustrator course and it meant that filming was a lot easier to do because I had the space in front of my desk to like put a tripod and stuff however there wasn't much room to get past the bed <laughs> so it was kind of hard to open the drawers like the drawers under the bed have got stock in getting to my cricket was hard getting to the drawers were hard like it just was driving me insane so We've rejigged things. I didn't bother filming it because it was like a late minute, late minute, a last minute decision on Sunday night to do this. Um, and it's now Wednesday and I've well and truly put off sorting these wires, wires, sorting these wires out for long enough. So I'm going to sort these out. Uh, brace yourself. There's a lot. <laughs> Hopefully I can like tame them a little bit. I don't know, but we'll see. So um, yeah, let me give you an overview. Just don't judge me for the mess we're gonna sort it out walking in this is what you see so you can see that the desk has completely flipped back round to the way it was and i mean we have adjusted things so first things first we've moved out one of my alex drawers and it's currently just stood in the hallway a little bit irritating and it definitely doesn't look okay there but considering I'm moving out hopefully soon. It's a short term solution. So yeah, my parents say that that's okay. So obviously like this setup's kind of still the same and the bed's still in the same place because we can't move it, it's literally wedged in. But I now have this floor space, which I didn't have before because in these two drawers is either stock or packaging for my shop. So I have to be able to get to this and it just was a pain when like before the desk came to like here. So it was annoying. And then I had to work out where to put this because this has got my printer on so I need to access the front of it it's got some packing supplies labels this is just a shelf of crap which I'm going to sort out in this video hopefully hello editing Alice is interrupting this video to tell you I've got a giveaway I'm very excited about it so the lovely people over at craft label are allowing me to host yet another giveaway and I've got a big old box of goodies that are all related to the Cricut. They are gonna give one of you guys the chance to win their Cricut bestsellers. I'm gonna quickly go through these and then I'll tell you how you can enter this giveaway. First up, we've got this tropical card pack with multiple beautiful metallic colors in it. I'm very excited about this one. We've also got this double-sided glitter card and this is premium stuff, you know? Oh yeah, I'm thinking cake toppers. I'm, I'm up for this. Then we also have this holographic vinyl. So this is Cricut own. So you could apply this to water bottles. There's a little example on there of it on a phone case. Then of course it would be rude for you to have a Cricut bundle and not get a mat. So this is the strong grip mat. I've also got these shaped gems which I thought were super cute. So if you're making like cards you can add these as little embellishments. And then finally we have a Cricut Joy essential tools set. So in here you get a spatula, a weeder and a scraper. So that is everything that Craft Label are giving you the chance to win. If you want to enter comment down below with the hashtag on screen. This giveaway is only open to people in the UK. To enter this giveaway, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, follow Craft Label on Instagram, register at craftlabel.com and comment using the hashtag. And there you have it. You can be in with a chance to win this selection of incredible goodies. You've only got a few days to enter this giveaway. I will leave all the information on screen and in the description. And I will be announcing the winner over on my Instagram story. So if you don't already follow me over there, make sure you do. And you can see if you've won these goodies. Thank you very much, Craft Label. And let's get back to organising my office. So yeah, and then <laughs> we've got a lot of wires. So there's wires here because the layout before I had this sort of sat at the front of my desk and this was for the printers but obviously now they're like right next to each other so 
hopefully I can condense this. At the minute my Cricut has been moved out of the way so I can sort the wires out but I'm thinking that my Cricut can go like here in front of the radiator and then I don't know it might cover up this bit a little bit but I don't like I won't need to access them so we'll see. Then underneath the desk we've got the drawers so they're actually on the opposite side to what they used to be um, which is fine ideally I would like them on the other side but it just it just worked okay like this and it means I can look out the window and the only annoying thing is this on my desk so it's a sit stand desk you can decide where you fasten this on and I fastened it on according to the old configuration so like the drawers used to be here whereas now this is where I sit so I keep kicking it so I might have to like move it at some point or just put up with it for a few months and then as you can see we have a whole other extension lead so before when the cricket was like on this wall it had an extension lead behind it and I had to use that for like powering the cricket, powering the Alexa, powering flow, all that stuff. So yeah, I've got three extension leads in a very small room, so I'm hoping I can condense it. Got some stuff for the bin, I've got some stuff for planning videos that I need to sort out. I just want to sort everything out, like you can see we've put the lamp just sort of there. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna figure this out. We love it when my camera works. You okay, mate? Come on, I know we're all tired, but this is silly. Task number one, I'm gonna just unplug everything I think and then reevaluate. I've unplugged everything from the two extension leads. This one actually came with like a little stand and I have a hunch I've put it away somewhere. And then this one I bought because it's got USB slots and you can like isolate each one. I'll link these in the description if I can find them but yeah I found some wires I don't even know what this is for this is like an iPhone wire so that's like we can sort that out at a later date I'm just gonna move them I actually labeled a bunch of my plugs because when I was isolating them it was kind of hard to work out which one was which and this is actually for my screen which you've probably noticed if you've been around a while it isn't here I've packed it away it was kind of getting in my way because my office was so small so I need to go and put that in the box with the screen it's getting packed up ready for when I move so that's one wire down um so yeah I highly recommend labeling things because it makes it a lot easier once they're plugged in to sort of decide which is which um, and I also have these things which are like reusable, they're effectively like zip ties if you know what they are. So this is one of them in use and it's just like a big velcro-esque thing and it like loops the wires together. So I did my printer wires all to be exactly the right level so it was super neat. So I guess first task probably is to plug the printers in. <laughs> a little tub of goodies and I'm gonna try I think and command strip the extension cable to the wall I have done this before so I'm thinking maybe two or three of these should hold it we've got like this wire and it like goes from that plug socket underneath the radiator and then to here don't worry this radiator is permanently turned off this room is ridiculously warm and I've literally never ever had it turned on so I'm thinking if I place some command strips top, middle, bottom, stick it to this wall. It means I can still reach the plugs and isolate things if I want to. Done that, stuck on the wall. I have this plug at the top because it's a smart plug sometimes it's very temperamental so I have to like fiddle with that one more than usual then there's this wire that is actually the desk wire so I think I'm gonna like stick it to the top of the desk like the underside I have to leave that quite slack because obviously as the desk sits and stands you have to have some like leeway with the wire now I'm gonna plug in the actual wires for the printers so I have three wires I have one from this printer one from this printer and one from my label printer I use this little contraption so it's just a usb hub thingy like an extender i'll link it in the description got it from amazon as everything is <laughs> um, and you can see that there's four slots in it and i command strip it to my desk and then when i plug my laptop in and when i need my printers i don't have to guess which wire it is and both me and my mum know that this wire fits in both of our laptops plug the cricket one in and this is where cable management needs to happen because 
it doesn't have far to go so I need to like wrap up the cables so it doesn't look too messy. We're making progress but I thought I would just show you how these work. So I got like a hundred which right now I won't use but I feel like when I move out and there's like all the wires behind the TV and stuff, probably will use them. So they're all currently stuck together. So you just need to peel one off. And it's not like really scratchy Velcro, like it feels fine. You're like, sometimes Velcro is kind of rough and horrible. So I've got the Cricut wire and I'm gonna shorten this wire. I know that the slot for the Cricut USB is literally on this side. So it means that I don't need barely any of this wire. So what I like to do, I like to just fold it like this rather than like, looping it and then all i'm doing is taking this i'm gonna wrap it round with the scratchy side on the outside and then thread the thin bit back through this hole pull it tight so it's literally like a tie wrap if you've ever used like tie wraps for gardening or anything pull it tight and then wrap it round on itself and there you go sorted <laughs> I've tackled this side, I'm now going to take my tools <laughs> and I'm going to tackle this little corner thinking I'm going to put this extension lead sort of down there as just like a surplus lead because a lot of the time I'll work from my bed so I'll need a wire to plug my laptop in that way and then I can plug like my echo flow and I've got like an oil diffuser thing which I've never actually found a good spot for but I think this is it so let's do this We've sorted that, we've got that down there. I have my laptop wire that isn't like very organized, but like I said, I'll have to keep moving that. So I've just sort of left it there. Now I'm going to attempt to clear my desk, just tidy up every little bit. We'll sort this out um, and then we'll reconvene. And here we have a tidy office-ish. I need to find a home for these because they used to be stuck on the side of some Alex drawers, obviously can't really get to them now. So I'm gonna rethink where they go. But as you've seen, all the cable management is sorted. Everything's working. I've got the printers down here. I've actually moved my bin to the back of here because it's kind of awkward to get to and it stops me from tidying up. I do need to sort out under this, but I'm gonna do that another day. And I do actually want to sort out in the drawers, but again, I'm gonna do that another day. And then on my desk, I've just got my laptop, my keyboard and mouse, extra screen, phone, and then I'm gonna stick one of those little clippy things onto here so I can keep my phone charger up. But I'm very happy with this. I feel like already just all this space is just gonna be so much more productive. Now, the reason I changed the desk before, alongside the fact that I needed to film my Adobe Illustrator course, it was because I like to sit with my feet stuck out rather than like being cramped against a wall. So it isn't like a permanent solution, but yeah, we're just using this as a solution for now. <laughs> I think I've plugged everything in, I'm not sure. I have a hunch I've not plugged my desk in, but I mean, we'll suss it out and I'm, I'm really happy with it. I feel like I can get back to being productive again. I've got a little like production corner going on. So when I'm printing products or prepping or anything, I can like sit on that stool and like do it over here. I can get to my drawers again with all the stock in. Yeah, I just feel like, I wish I'd done this sooner, to be honest. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this little renovation-y room move around video, thanks for watching. And I actually am thinking of doing a second channel, more homey style vlogs. So as I do start moving house, I'll be vlogging that. So yeah, I will keep you posted on that as we move forward. But yeah, I quite enjoyed a chatty chill vlog for the day. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.